Hello, Netherlands! Hello, Dutch people! Oh, yay! Doi! <laughs> I'm Stukense from Russia, from Moscow, and in this video I will tell you how do Dutch people like Russian people. And I will tell you my personal experience, because I'm a Russian girl and I was living in the Netherlands for quite some time. Uh, it was in total, I guess, uh, several years. Uh, I had my PhD in uh, the Netherlands, I um, lived there for work, I came to the Netherlands as a guest researcher, so I have some experience and this experience of course based on um, my life because I was in um, scientific community, in uh, university community and this community in general very um, educated and polite and so on. But of course I traveled across uh, uh, Netherlands a lot and I just love Netherlands so much that I traveled across a lot of different cities and towns and places. Mm, just love it. And of course I met some people and I was uh, asked like where are you from? And a lot of people think, thought that I was from Spain. I don't know why, why they think like this, but a lot of foreigners from Europe think that either I'm from Spain nor from Latin America. No, I'm Russian. <laughs> I was born in Russia. Of course, I have some Jewish uh, roots, some of Jewish roots. Maybe I will move to Israel one day. I don't know. But anyway, I'm Russian. Uh, so, um, what about Dutch people? How do they like Russian? I would say that it sometimes changing in time and uh, my first uh, stay in the Netherlands was about 10 years ago. It was very long time ago. But uh, my last stay in the Netherlands was about two years ago or maybe a year and a half or two years. So re very recently and it has changed. I would say but in general let's talk about general things mm, Dutch people are interested in foreigners and I think it's just uh, because in general in um, uh, in Wageningen in the city where I lived and of course in Amsterdam and other cities there are a lot of foreigners and I think Dutch people just used to communicate with foreigners and they just more tolerate and interested in general in foreigners. Uh, and what about Russians? Um, I would say that most of Dutch people, when they know that I'm from Russia, they was like, oh, vodka, like, okay, no, they're not so, so stereotypical. But some things they asked me the most. First, what do you think about Putin? Do you like Mr. Putin? They asked me. Um, they asked me, how do you... Uh, do you have any relations with mafia? <laughs> Russian mafia, it's very typical question. And uh, at first, of course, it was students, maybe more like based on um, uh, TV or movies or whatever, where Russians always represented like bad guys, you know, with gun or mafia or whatever. So uh, when you see in a uh, movie bad guy, <laughs> it's always Russian guy. And maybe it makes some kind of, oh, do you have any relation with mafia? Do you know any bad guys in Russia? And I was like, sorry, guys, I'm just I just don't have any any funny stories for you to tell because I'm not a gunster, you know, I'm just a scientist. So, sorry. And of course, uh, next stereotype about vodka. Uh, it's very genuine that uh, Dutch people think that I should drink vodka sometimes. Of course, I'm not an alcoholic in their eyes, but when we have parties or uh, birthdays or whatever, they always like say something about vodka and it like it, it, they pretend I drink vodka. I don't. 
<laughs> I don't drink vodka at all. So I have tried vodka in, in my life maybe two times, maybe one time, maybe two times. Uh, I was in ninth grade. I was really, s s s I was 15 when I tried vodka the first time. We had party, uh, barbecue with my friends and we bought vodka. I don't know, we just did it and we tried vodka. Okay, maybe I tried it several times around, around this age, but I have never drank it from the, the times, never, because I just don't drink alcohol at all. I just don't like. My boyfriend, he's Russian, uh, he's genuinely a Russian person. He was born in Moscow and uh, the same, but he, he doesn't drink. So we, now we just, we just, uh, we do not drink alcohol alcohol at all and when we say to our dutch friends or colleagues uh, we have barbecue or party or whatever we say okay can i just drink some juice or we just don't drink alcohol and they say how dare you you are russian you you, you do not drink alcohol <laughs> so what are you doing here? And it was fun because this really big stereotype about Russians that Russians have to drink a lot of alcohol and especially vodka. Uh, what next about Russia? What I've heard from Dutch people is like um, you should be very like, okay, not aggressive, but highly primitive. How do you call that? But it was more about my boyfriend because he's big, he's strong and he's high, very high guy. Okay, not as high as <laughs> maybe some Dutch people because Dutch people are really high and I was like, uh, I'm so short here. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, it was more like pretending that he is more serious like, you know, typical Russian guy. Don't mess with me like that. And it was funny when we just came to the Netherlands, our first day in the Netherlands, it was really funny because we came uh, late at night and uh, our taxi br bring us to hotel. So we just stayed at the hotel for several days and then we moved to student campus. Uh, so uh, we went out of our uh, hotel and we just were going around and we tried to find um, supermarket you know like Hema or something like this but we didn't know any names of supermarkets because we just came to the Netherlands for the first time and we just didn't know anything and I, I remember <laughs> me and my boyfriend were just going across the street it was maybe eight or nine um, o'clock in the evening it's a little bit dark already and we're just going around, um, okay, maybe just nine or half, half past nine. Um, and we were trying to find some food. We were so hungry and we're just going, going, no, nobody around because city is quite small, not many people around. But sometimes we met people with dogs, you know, they just were walking dogs um, um, around the street. And we just came to people and say, hey, hello, uh, could you please help us to find a supermarket and it was so strange because people maybe we uh, when we just came to the Netherlands we had maybe stronger Russian accent I don't know I just still still have of course Russian accent but maybe when we just came to Netherlands our Russian accent were, uh, was pretty hard I guess so we just said hello can you please uh, help us or uh, can we ask you some question and people were like <gasps> they were just really scared and we were thinking why are they so weird why are they so scared because it was really like <gasps> i don't know or that way they just were not really at first because it was night uh, not not night but dark dark time and we f were feeling that people like okay maybe they're not uh, running away from us and scaring us but they act like we are not normal here you know because we're just going uh, across the streets and ask some questions like hello can you help us to go somewhere maybe we will dressed 
I, I don't know, actually, I don't know why, but this first day in uh, the Netherlands was really crazy because uh, we were going and it was very hard to us to find some store. Um, and we asked a lot of questions of, of people from people. And me and my boyfriend were joking like, why are they so... Maybe they think that we are criminals or we want to steal something from them or we are aggressive. I don't know, actually, because maybe we were dressed in black. I don't know. Actually, I have no idea why, but this first day was crazy because we felt ourselves like, ooh, like people feel um, stressed when they talk with us. They were not smiling. They were like um, very um, like go that way and they just go away from us and we felt that but then um, it became more normal because I think we blend in and maybe our accent become not that <laughs> not that Russian <laughs> hello can you tell me <laughs> where is the store of with food <laughs> I don't know maybe it's just because our our style of talking at <laughs> the time I have no idea um, but then we blend in and our friends uh, were very friendly and colleagues were very friendly and people in general were, were very friendly in most of cases and um, it was very okay but then we moved to Russia um, some political issues happen you know this kind of a lot of uh, weird stuff happen in the world and then we came again to the Netherlands it was about two years ago after all that you know sanctions all that stuff all that um, Skripalé, uh, this thing with Skripalé, um, spy, a lot of things happen and uh, things with uh, Crimea and uh, Ukrainian and the United States, all of the world, just, just something happened and um, we came to the Netherlands again and it was a little bit different, you know. I wouldn't say that people were not as friendly or whatever, but the questions they asked us and the assumptions they make were a little bit different. And we felt a little difference between this, like previously it was like, oh, Russians, it was funny. We had very easy talks. No, not much people asked us about politics or it just was, was not the case, you know. Um, more people, they were interested in food, in culture, in music, in books, I don't know, something like this. But the last time we came to the Netherlands, it was really strange. But some people very was, were very strongly interested in politics. Uh, and they asked, um, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? You are Russian. How do you evaluate that? What do you think about this issue, about this issue? And it was really the case. People really interested in that um, because, you know, um, television says in the Netherlands a lot of stuff about Russia. I get no, not a lot of it. it's not main point, of course, but sometimes they say something and uh, people ask us, you know, I saw on television this kind of things what do you see in your television in russia for instance like they they were really interested in those things and we we were um, also interested because um it was not typical for us like being ambassador of your country like uh, we didn't know actually sometimes um, how to react because this was the case and um i Suge I suggest that recently in the Netherlands um, a lot of foreigners they came to the Netherlands and they um, start to live in the Netherlands like maybe people from China from I don't know where from other places so a lot of um, immigration happen and it is it is real because uh, even 10 years ago it was less um, uh, different restaurants with different food, um, different businesses from people all, all over the world. So it's definitely from these 10 years, um, big immigration happened. And I guess it's my personal opinion. Maybe it's 
totally wrong. Just it's my feeling. I guess that uh, Dutch people start to be a little bit more, um, uh, a little bit more. Uh, how it is the right word? Not nationalistic. It's not in a bad way. In a in a bad meaning of this word, but being like more protecting the na the nation protecting the language protecting uh, the culture i felt it in very simple small ways like when i was talking to the people i knew uh, i i knew them for a very long time but they more like uh, when i just first came to the netherlands uh, i have never heard from dutch people like oh you should learn dutch as soon as possible like no, nobody cares actually. I was speaking English and nobody really cares if I'm going to learn Dutch or not. That was just not the case. Um, but uh, the last time I came, I've heard a lot that people like, oh, you're going to learn Dutch. It's cool that you learn Dutch. You have to learn Dutch because it's, it will help you to find a job. So it's, it is very important. So like to assimilate uh, people from other country, countries, then Mm, they will learn the language, they will understand the culture and so this culture I feel, okay, maybe I'm wrong, just tell me if you are Dutch, but I feel that it is very important, start to be very important when you have a lot of people from around the world and they just not just come and live, come and live like for education or whatever, they just come and stay, come and live and you have a lot of foreigners around and um, it might be scary for people with a culture with um, specific uh, language or a culture that so many people come and they might be different. Uh, you know, in Moscow we have um, some, okay, it's not very similar because of course we have a lot of immigration to Moscow from a lot of countries and from a lot of cities, but Moscow is very, it's huge and we still have a big majority of Russians, so Russian language is everywhere and um, we do not have uh, any feeling of um, that people come and they change something. Not at all, because Russian culture is quite strong, language is very strong, everybody learns Russian, everything is in Russian, so not, pro not problem. Um, but I think in the countries which are smaller, and you have a big immigration, it might be the case. So uh, that's why um, the last time we went to the Netherlands, we felt a little bit like, you know, a lower of degree of like uh, this multicultural, maybe um, friendliness and happiness, I don't know. So maybe it's just my uh, feeling. Tell me please, what do you think about um, um, foreigners um, with, uh, who, ca who come to the Netherlands? Do you like this immigration or do you not like that? Maybe you like just, okay, come to your countries and, and live there while you're coming here. Uh, or maybe you're happy that people from all over the world want to live in the Netherlands because Netherlands is a very cool country, I would say. It's really cool. Um, and uh, if I can, I, I say if I can, I move to Netherlands because it's cool. I just like it so much. Of course, I like Russia. I like Moscow. I like about Moscow a lot of things. Um, but if I have more income, uh, more money, I don't know, if I have passport <laughs> of uh, Europe, I would easily move to the Netherlands at least for several years, maybe maybe more, because I just like it. And I think that it's not only me. Uh, I think a lot of people from different countries, and especially from countries which uh, has not that good development, and salaries and whatever, and ecology and other stuff, of course they have, they want to move to the Netherlands, it's obvious. Everybody wants to move from, uh, no, to better places, it's, it's easy. So I'm interested, how do you feel about that? Uh, do you like it or not? 
Oh, and of course, how do you feel about Russian people? Do you have some this like, oh, you're Russian, you might be that, 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 or maybe you're just interested in Russians, or you're happy when you meet Russians, or you're afraid when you meet Russians, or you're just like, oh, I don't know uh, about Russians, please tell me in the comments. It's really interesting. See you in my next video, subscribe to the Netherlands channel and don't forget to put the bell. Bell is nearby the subscription button and if you put the bell, you will get the notification about our new video. Bye!